guys. I'd say gray and wintry Monday in Tennessee. I hope everything is okay. Connor, we're concerned. You haven't been around, but I guess that's, you do that, so that's okay. Uh, so I was originally going to talk about in this video the importance of, of loving yourself and blah 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 yada 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 because I hadn't, I haven't had such a great couple of weeks, but instead things have been happening in Lauren world, so I want to talk to you guys about all the college stuff that's been going down lately. Um, also I'm going to go ahead and apologize, um, I don't know where the dress is right now, but it generally falls into Cleavage Central after three minutes. Also my hair... I don't, I don't know anymore. Luckily, I'm getting it cut in a few weeks. All right. So, oh, in my lap for some reason, because you know it always helps to have props. I've got, I've got T.S. Eliot's Four Quartets. Katie bought it for me from a thrift store. She knows me so well. I'm such hipster shit. Oh my god. So Caitlin knows this. That I've been, I um having to let go of, of the option of going to Sewanee because it's just so expensive and I just, I'd, if I had made, if I had made that super awesome ACT score, Lauren, you already did make a super awesome ACT score. I needed to make awesomer. I needed to make like a 38 as opposed to my 31. Um, I just, I just can't make up the difference. And so my mom and I have been talking it out and, um, oh God, I was, I devastated. But that's not... We're saving that for the self-love video. Um, so I've been doing college shopping, and I and I actually think we've decided on a good plan A. Oh my god, I just shimmied everywhere. I'm sorry. Oh god. Uh, but I went and I visited the University of Tennessee Martin. Really, it's a very pretty campus. It's actually a certified botanical garden. There's some fun fact knowledge for you. And, um, <laughs> so I had my little tour and it was very pretty. It was very nice. Even in this weather where nothing is very pretty, it's not a good presenting season for college campuses. Uh, but I had, I went on my little tour and the, and the, um, guidance counselor at the admissions office told me to just go ahead and have my transcripts faxed over instead of having them sent normally. And, um, so I could finish up my application that day because I'd already applied but I guess now I'm in the system twice um, so I had my tour and then I had a meeting with the chair of the English department who was so excited to see me and I don't just mean like in a oh yes new students I mean she was hunting and I have never been hunted that hard and you guys know how I am with, with teacher recognition and validation like Peers? Whatever. I don't care what you think. Parents? My parents are very loving and supportive. So I have a healthy relationship. Teachers? Please love me and tell me that I'm worth something. So, so it meant a lot to me that she was really excited to have me. And she called in pretty much half of the professors in the English department to come talk to me. And she introduced me every time with, she made a 33 in English. We want her. She actually said that to one of the teachers. Like she, I was shaking his hand, um, Dr. Bradshaw or Mr. Bradshaw. I'm not actually sure. I'm trying to be careful, making sure I call everyone doctor or Mr. because it's an important distinction among collegiate folk. Um, her name is Dr. Wright. She was very sweet. And so I was like shaking hands. And she actually told him, "This is Lauren, and we want her." Oh my God! So it was very, very flattering. And, and so then I was, I, she told me I need to make a meeting with the Honor Society and blah, 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 blah. And so I've been finishing up applications at the speed of light. Um, but the Dean of Admissions threw me a bone and extended the deadline for me on, uh, on my University Scholars application because she just told me to have it in before the banquet. And, uh, and there's also another woman, Dr. Clark, who came and sat with me for a while while we were doing my meeting with the chair. And she was so sweet. And at first, you could sort of tell that she was just like, oh, we're student recruiting. 
but she warmed up to me and it was so precious it made me feel so good and she told me that if I ever if I the it was so cute and precious and she told me that if I ever emailed her she puts poems at the bottom of her emails how precious how absolutely adorable and also we went and looked at housing I actually put a we've, we put a deposit down on housing <laughs> But the, it's it's um, apartment style living. There's actually an apartment style living center with freshman priority. But I really want I I want the not freshman priority because it's nice, like full kitchen, nice. Um, but that's what's been going on in my life right now. Is I'm doing so much college stuff, and I'm really excited because I have been accepted into every college I've applied to. I actually got this little neat this neat little postcard from Rhodes, and it's handwritten. And I want you guys to know that I actually check every bit of college mail I get to see how easily I can tell whether or not it's handwritten, because I know most of them are printed. Uh, but if I can see the pixels, it drives me nuts. I'll throw it away pretty much immediately. I hate that. I don't know why. I just really hate that. It seems so insincere and cheap. At least give me really good quality clip art. It's like they're not even trying. Which is funny, because Dr. Wright of the English department hand signs all of her admission letters, so. But I got this cute little thing from Rhodes. Uh, I was actually really surprised, but I have a little, fro I, get, I, I assume that this is the admissions counselor. It says, Dear Lauren, congratulations on your acceptance. I enjoyed reading your essay about the creative writing and the orange that helped start it all. That shit's personal. And that's really, I have absolutely no philosophy to share with you, no, no intense insight into my state of being, my state of mind, no poetry, no artistic value whatsoever to impart upon you in this video. Because I'm just really happy that things are looking up after that huge shattering last week. And, um, and... Connor, I hope you're okay. I haven't heard from you in a while and you missed your video day. I hope you're not like grounded or dead. Also, another really cool thing, if I go to UTM, Caitlin and I will live three hours away from each other. Be jealous, be jealous. So yeah, exciting things happening. I'm really excited to be done with high school. I'm so excited to be done with high school. I'm so done with these people. My fourth block got searched by the cops. I'll just, I'm just gonna leave it at that. And... God, I have, I really, I really don't have anything thoughtful or, or groundbreaking to tell you. Maybe I should have done the love yourself video but I have a music recommendation for your Monday and this is in honor of Caitlyn's new haircut it's when we first met by hello goodbye and I love you I love you both so 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 much I love you very much and I hope that you guys are having good weeks and life is good I'm gonna redo that one more time Probably looks really silly and I'll probably have to cut that out. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba.